my friend is gay and I feel bad for him. Uh, he, he's always down and upset and, and people are always uh, making fun of him and he says he, is, this is, he can't help feeling any better. Sometimes he's even suicidal. How can I uh, deal with this? Because, because on one hand, uh, being gay is perceived as one thing in my household and my mosque and on the other hand I have to live and work and be friends here I'm lost mm -hmm. one minute I'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, uh, thank you for raising this question for many reasons number one we have two billion Muslims around the world are you telling me that all those Muslims are straight that is not the case let's be real mm. Two billion Muslims around the world, you're going to find people who are not straight. They are homosexual. So we're discussing something that could pertain to millions of people around the world who are not straight Muslims. Now, whether that's okay or not, that, let that wait for a second. Is it a reality? Yes. So we have to talk about this reality. That's number one. Number two, those two billion people around the world, if they're straight, um, they go to school, they go to work, they meet people, they interact with people, whether they are Muslim or non-Muslim, and some of mm -hmm. them are not mm -hmm. straight, okay? So again, now with looking at the whole picture, this pertains to almost every single person. I'm sure you had to deal with it, I have to deal with it, where it, it could be somebody in your dorms, it could be somebody in your place of work, it could be your secretary, it could be your classmate, it could be somebody. How do you deal with them? And the answer is a little complicated because, first of all, you cannot encourage people to continue to sin Islamically, morally. Morally, why? Because if I encourage you to continue your sin, I am actually doing you a disservice. How so? Because I am, what I'm doing is I'm encouraging you to, to, to carry on, to pile up your, your sins and, and to wreck your hereafter because in, uh, that's what muslims believe on believe in right okay muslims believe in the hereafter muslims believe yeah. so if it is that they were not born in a specific way no they're just exploring their bi one day they're uh, heterosexual one day they're homosexual one day they're bisexual and they're just swinging around just because you know they get drunk they want to have fun they want to fit in they want to have a TikTok. oh yesterday I kissed somebody from the same gender and oh, now it's the cool thing. Let's talk about it. It's mm. this trend. So that, I think, that's, th those aren't the people you asked me about. Because no. it's obvious. No, I'm talking about somebody who is struggling. Yes. Somebody who is, uh, it's like drinking. Somebody who's, who's an alcoholic mm. and you're telling me, how do you deal with them? I'm not saying, you know, you go and beat them up every day about this. But you don't encourage their sinning. So you associate with them as much as it's not considered encouragement for them to continue to sin. If your association with them helps them quit drinking, that's a good association. Mm -hmm. Now, if this person in your community is exploring and they're sinning and whatever, I still don't think you should throw them out your house, uh, uh, boycott them, excommunicate them. But make sure your association is in a, in a way that is going to mm -hmm. help them quit sinning, okay? Now, let's put those guys aside. Let's what is the role of people. compassion here? Okay, so role of compassion comes to those who are not deliberately sinning, I believe, right? That's what you're asking me? Yes, because, because these people are, out of are, your way are to almost be, suicidal. Yeah, you don't go out of your way to be extra compassionate to somebody who's, uh, uh, you know, on coke uh, and, and just because they want to party all night and you're like, oh, I, I need to be compassionate to this person. No, you actually be need to real. You need to be real to that person and say, um, uh, I, need to, I need to basically be real with you. Listen, you need to stop this. So I understand that your question pertains people who are, and, I, I, and look, we've read articles, we've, read, we've seen videos, we've seen books written about this, movies now coming up, coming on, people who are born different, mm -hmm. right? People who are born different. People who don't fit in. People who uh, are bullied, people who are abused. Um, oppression is never never okay. Oppressing people who don't have a choice. You know, when we started this, let's say somebody 
Let me let me yeah. kind of turn things around. Let's say somebody is a midget. Did they choose to be that way? No. They were born that way. Let's say somebody was born with one blind eye or mm -hmm. was born as uh, blind, right? Let's say somebody was born with a with with some sort of abnormality. Mm. Is it okay to bully them because of that? Absolutely not. So if it is determined that those people were born in that specific way, and there's a lot of fiqh discussion on how they can choose and marry and, and whatever and choose their place in society. But in that period, do you bully them? No. 